Hey everyone, welcome to this super simple tutorial on getting your website up and running with Bluehost in roughly 15 minutes. Whether you're brand new to this or just want to get your site live fast, I've got you covered. We're skipping the boring stuff and just jumping straight into the good part, which is installing WordPress, customizing your site, and making it look awesome. So let's get started and have some fun with it. But before diving into that, if you don't have Bluehost, you can take advantage of the discount I have for you in the description to follow along. So take advantage of that if you want. So once you log into your Bluehost account, you're gonna wanna go to websites down here and then go to the far right side, or not that far, but far enough to the right where you can click on add site and then click on install WordPress. These other things we don't need, all right? So click on continue, and then you can either name your site here. You don't have to, we're gonna skip for now. And then you have a temporary domain that comes with your plan. So we're gonna use that in this case, if you have your own, then enter it up here. But for now, let's click on this one. And then it's gonna take some time to download. It shouldn't take too long. So once that's done, I'll be right back with you. Now, all you gotta do is click on edit site for the site that popped up. The next thing you're gonna see is the WordPress dashboard here. The first thing that I want you to do is make your way down to this little, little plug icon and click on add new plugin. And all I want you to do is check if you have the Elementor. So look up Elementor right here. And I want you to check if you have the Elementor header and footer builder. Now, all of you have the Elementor uh, app itself, but some of you might not have the header and footer builder. So make sure that you install that and have it active. The reason for this is once we start customizing our header and footer, we want to have that on hand immediately. And I'll show you what it looks like once we get into Elementor. So next step, click on Elementor. And from here, it's very simple. So Elementor is like a third party app that is hosted on WordPress and it makes creating websites a lot easier. It's super, it, it's a drag and drop builder essentially, as you'll see right now. So click on create page. And once it shows up, you're gonna see a default template and we're gonna remove that. So the first thing that I like to do with these default templates is get rid of them immediately. And so to do so, we're gonna go down to uh, the settings gear and then click on page layout. It's on default right now. And I want you to click on elements or canvas and it might take a moment for it to load up. Oh, this time it didn't. Um, and you'll see how the default template is gone and that's exactly what we want. Then if we go to the top right here and click on this icon box, we can go back to all of our tools. So on the left side, we have all the tools that we need to make a site. Other pretty basic things such as the heading, images, text editors, videos. When it comes to making sites, it's how you use these tools rather than the tools you have, of course. So when you have WordPress, you have a lot more control over your site than something like Shopify where you have a template and it's kind of like, you know, plugging in things into their template rather than making your own. So I don't really need to over explain what tools we have. You'll just see what I do with them. Now I want to show you the element, the header and footer thing that we just downloaded, which is located down here. We're going to use this later on. I just want to show you a few things and then we'll get into those nitty gritty details. Okay. They're very simple though. So stay with me. Now, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to click on this plus button. Now for every part of your site, you're going to be clicking on that plus button to include a different box or, or, or add a section to your site. Okay. So once you click on that, click on the flex box and you have all of these structures and all these structures have containers. And so for example, let's go with a dual structure with tool con tool two containers. Um, and on the left side, we're going to include pictures. So I'm going to drag and drop an image container into that. And then I'm going to drag and drop an image container into this one. Now to add images, you go to the left hand side and then find the images from wherever they're located in your on your computer. Yeah. And all you want to do is just take them and then drag one into the into the uh, WordPress platform. Now what I went ahead and did was just transfer all my photos so it could be a lot easier. Uh, from here, you just choose which ones you want to upload. So for example, I'll take this one and then you'll see how some of the photos don't exactly fit right when you transfer them over. And we're going to change that very easily. So for example, let's click on this left photo and we're going to go to advanced. And what I like to do is click on the width option here and from default, go to custom. And then from custom, you can uh, change the width of it. And then you can align the width to be 
not as overbearing because the photos were a little too overbearing and there wasn't too much flexibility you could do with it. But you also have the opportunity to just change the size like this. You can make the containers smaller, larger, however you prefer it. But yeah, that's how you can adjust the settings for the image. Now I'm gonna do the same thing for the right side and then we're gonna add some texts. So the site right now looks pretty depressing. I mean, it's nothing to write home about. The colors are nice, but what I wanna do is I wanna take this text, as I said, and this purple highlight that you see is just indicating where this is gonna be placed, okay? On the left-hand side, let's write unleash your green thumb. You might want to even change the color. So you go to style and you look at the text colors and maybe we'll go with orange for this one. And then you can change the alignment. Now the alignment is fine. We're gonna do the alignment for this text over here on the bottom right. But in terms of changing the alignment, you just click on right here and it's gonna change itself. So pretty simple stuff, okay? Now let me show you how to create a new page, add that page to your menu and add your menu to your website. So go back to this tab head down to where it says pages, add new page. Then in this text box, you just name it, whatever you're gonna name it. And then over here, publish it, and then publish it again to make sure that you really saved it. Once you're done with that, make your way back to the WordPress dashboard. Go down to this brush right here and select menus. And the first thing that we wanna do is name it. So we're gonna name it main menu. And I promise you, your video is not lagging. It's just taking some time to load up. So we're gonna name it main menu and then right here make sure you check mark primary menu and then for the footer menu you just title it footer menu and then uh, check mark this box and so all you got to do right now is create the menu and once it's created go to the left hand side right here and find the pages that you made so here are mine so garden gear planter boxes yard and outdoors so on and so forth make sure you click on add to menu otherwise it's just not going to be added then you'll see on this side that your menu items have been placed you can drag these around and uh, rearrange your menu items in terms of order but basically that's all there really is to it after you're done you just save your menu and then you go back to your website but i have to add a couple more items to my menu and then uh, i'll show you how to add this to the site itself Okay, so now that we're back on our wonderful website, first thing that I want to add is a logo, and I'll just do that by adding an image at the top. As for the header menu, all you gotta do is scroll down to header and footer builder, take the navigation menu, place it right here, well, until the purple highlight shows up. Now on the left side, you gotta make sure that the menu is set to the correct one that you want, so it was in footer. You want the main menu, then go to advanced, change the alignment to be centered, back to style and I'm not really digging the hot pink so we're gonna change it to black and then same goes for typography I want to I want it to stand out a little more so we're gonna go with maybe for Dana Dana looks good and that's all there is to it that's how you add a header menu and the footer menu process is the same you just change the type of menu you want to footer and that's pretty much it down below what i did was i added a grid which allowed me to include three containers and in those containers i just included three collections so i put some pictures and you can see what they look like now and then i didn't like where this was placed so i put it above and then down below i also added a few more grids and added some text so i could just highlight which collections these were. I also change the colors and that's pretty much it. So now that I've added these three pictures, I can link them to the respective product pages. And the way you can link something is you just click on it and it's always gonna be under content and you can click on link and either find the media file that you want to associate with this or you can link a custom URL. And the way we find the URL to our page is we go back to this tab and we go to all of the pages and then you find the page that you wanna link it to. You click on view and then you take the link from up here, go back to this tab, place it into this bar and then you'll see how it changes indicating that you've just applied the link. And to see whether or not this link actually takes us to that page by clicking on this picture, we can go to this preview changes button, open the link. It's actually gonna open the link in another tab. Anyways, I don't need to do that. But once it opens up, we can check out what the page looks like and what the site looks like from the customer's perspective for that matter. So you don't have all of the clutter surrounding it. This is what the page would look like to the customer. And then if we click on this one right here, you'll notice how it takes us to that page that we wanted to go to in the first place. And uh, all we have to do is edit this, but we won't do this in this video, but you get the idea. And the last thing that I want to show you folks is how to change your background on your whole site. You have different sections, so don't worry, you're not going to be stuck with one, one color for the entire site. 
Now to change the background, you don't want to just click on the container as we've been doing up until now. You want to right click on some empty space and then you'll find edit container. And then here you can add images, you can add colors, you can change the gradient, the, you can have a video in the background, you can go crazy, okay? So that's how you change the color. And let me show you how this looks once I change the color. And this is my site, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I know I didn't add too much color, but I think with the text and the pictures, there's enough to add some variety to the site itself. Now, uh, I know I didn't talk about how you can add your own products to your store. And if you want to learn more about that, then you can check out my longer tutorial in the description below where I go into depth, a lot more depth that is, into how you can add products, customize the descriptions for that, and a lot more e-commerce information that you're going to want to know. At any rate, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you learned something and are inspired to try out WordPress for yourself, especially if you were thinking of making a store for your business. Again, if you want to try out Bluehost with a discount, you can check out the link in the description for that. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video if you enjoyed it. If you have any further questions, leave those down below and I'll get you ASAP. And until next time, make sure to take care of yourself, folks.